I mean, it went well. You know, uh, you gotta like, get to used to uh, get used to playing uh, like playing five on five. You know, you've been working out your individual skills, but get back to five on five. It, it was a real good experience tonight. Talk about your growth as a player um, since leaving LSU. Kind of how, how each stop along the way has helped you out, or anything like that. Oh man. There's nothing like LSU, you know. I say I love it. I played a perfect goal, you know. But uh, you know, um, this past year, you know, this is my first year out of um, out of college. Uh, I had, you know, a lot of experiences. You know, uh, you know, I was with the Cavs. You know, uh, got released from the Cavs, went to the D League, and the D League was a real experience too. Uh, you know, um, but if you love the game of basketball, no matter what situation you're in, you're gonna find a way to get, have the best outcome. So I played real well in the D League this year. Knowing that the Hornets have only one pick, not two, and it's a mid-second round pick, there's a realistic chance that they'll look at something like this and for some people to invite the camp, right? I mean, did that thought go through your mind at all, or when you were invited here? Uh, yes, sir. Well, my agent, uh, my agent, my, my agent Justin Zanik, uh, you know, he told me, you know, he told me about uh, the chances that they have, and the I mean, the picks that they have, and the chances that I may have. You know, uh, you know, growing up, I always liked the Hornets. You know, the homegrown Baton Rouge guy, Dennis Preston, Dennis Springs, Louisiana. Uh, I'd love to, uh, you know, to be here to, to, to help the Hornets out, you know, um, it'd be a dream come true. We talked about your, your year from LSU and D-League and Cavs, what have you learned about yourself as a basketball player in that time that you know when you left LSU? Oh man, I learned a lot by myself, man, you know, uh, a lot of growing up to do, you know, um, didn't have nobody at LSU, you know, uh, you know, just, just a lot of responsibility, you know, you're on your own, you know, um, you know, there's no coach forcing you to work out, you know, uh, basically you're making basketball your livelihood instead of just playing it for the love and the passion of the game like you're doing college. Uh, you know, you make it out your livelihood. That's what I learned. And, you know, it's all about all about uh, taking care of your family. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, that's, it's, that's also what I learned, uh, more, more responsibility after you leave school and then you're on your own. So it kind of gives you a different approach when you... Oh, uh, yeah, man. You be more uh, mentally focused. You know, you really be serious about the game. You're still having fun, still playing basketball, but... Just know it's your job now. This is your job. This is what you do. Have you participated in the D League? A lot of flights or a lot of bus rides here? What, what, is it mixed up? Uh, well, um, when we went to Fort Wayne, Indiana, that was the only bus ride we had, which was five hours. But uh, big league flights is uh, we, a lot of flights, a lot of Southwest flights, <laughs> free bags and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it, was a, it was a lot of flights going to Iowa, then coming back home, and then going back to Iowa and stuff like that. You know, it was, like I say, it's developmentally, you know, different from the NBA. It, 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 it teaches you to, uh, to have more respect and appreciate the game more. Even in LSU, y'all usually have charter flights there. So you're, you're, you're flying Southwest with just a, you know, coach that kind of stuff or what? Yeah, it was just coach, man. It was just, <laughs> it was just coach, man. Uh, the flight for um, Southwest, but, uh, you know, with, um, with LSU, you know, is um, we, had, we chartered flights. We chartered, like, the Oxford, Mississippi. We chartered to Starkville. You know the Kentucky and stuff like that. You know there, and you you get it, and you come back the same night. You know in the D League, you you go there the day before, play the game the day after, and you leaving out the day the, the day after the game. But you know, like I said, it's, it's it's a real big experience, man. It's a real big experience. Like I said, it teach you how to appreciate the game a lot more. Just to, just have the love for the game. Don't worry about the other aspects of the game yet. Oh man, we had delays. Uh, the ladies lay over. We couldn't fly out because it was snowing. You know, I was in the Midwest. I was at the Erie Bayhawks. I was in the, up there, up um, up there in, by Cleveland and stuff like that. It's a real cold, different, different environment. You know, playing in the D League and being real cold is the difference. Now, have, have you been able to pinpoint like or break down your game and say if I improve at X or if I improve at Y, I can get to the next level? Is there anything specific like that that you're looking at trying to? Um. You know, I just uh, I just want to improve on my overall game. You know, I'm not a point guard, you know, but I can't bring the ball to the court. You know, I'm not a Chris Paul dribbler. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, if I if, if I don't know how to dribble like that, I'm not gonna ever learn because you know I'm at that age where just be just, just don't be satisfied with where you where you at. Just 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 uh, critique yourself and um and uh, put more work into what you what you're good at. And uh, you know, I mean, my overall game, I just work on every aspect of my game. You know, I don't really take out one point one. One thing and just be like, okay, this is what I need to work on the most. I just work on it all. You never know what situation you're going to be in in basketball. If the Hornets were to pick you up next season, uh, what specific ways do you think you could help out the team? Um, you know, um, I think I'd be a uh, an energy guy coming off the bench. You know, giving relief, uh, defensive defensive stopper. Um, you know, a real real mentally tough 
player like Coach Monty Williams like. You know, he loves a mentally tough defensive player. You know, I can hit, um, you know, just hit a wide open jumper, hit a wide open mid range jump shot. You know, get a lot of players involved. Great passer. I think I can bring a lot of energy to the team. I'm, I'm, I'm an energetic guy. You know, uh, I never stop playing. You know, I'm not perfect at the game, but you know, I, I, for, for the most part, I give it my all. And and uh, you know, I wear I wear whatever colors I have on my chest proudly. You gonna go to more of these this summer? Uh, this is my first one. I don't know how many more they're gonna have. You know. Where, so, where are you staying for the summer? Uh, I'm in a, I'm, I'm I'm in Baton Rouge right now. Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge. As uh, you know, obviously as a free agent and not signed with the team. Uh, you know, it's going to affect a lot of people because it's going to affect the D-League also, you know, because the D-League is ran by the NBA. So if the NBA is not up and running, I don't think the D-League is going to be up and running, you know, because, you know, you're playing in the D-League to get the call up. You know, uh, but um, it's going to affect a lot. A lot of guys are going to be trying to go overseas and stuff and play. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully the, the lockout don't last that long to where, to where you know, if a team want to pick me up, they can make a decision, you know, they can make a decision to tell me they're going to pick me up or whatever they want to do before I decide to go, go to lockout. It's going to be, I mean, if I decide to go overseas, it's going to be, uh, you know, a 50-50 chance, you know. Is that a realistic, a realistic possibility then to go on overseas? Oh, yes, sir. If, uh, if, the, if, if, if the NBA is not in and I'm not signed with an NBA team, then I'm going overseas. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of guys are going to go overseas, you know. A lot of free agents are going to go overseas. you got to make money. Unless you have one of the big contracts and you sit out for a year, I don't have that. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. You're, 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 you're.